You do not have to be good Even the best of us have been misunderstood So get up under your feet The sun is shining repentance through the leaves Its rays will wash you Walking slowly, I'm taking my time. All I lack of talking is starting to run. Letting go of lonely, letting go of strife. I just can't get enough of this beautiful life. I just can't get enough of this beautiful. I have to be known Even the best of us Have sometimes felt alone This whole world is your home So reach out your branches Lay your roots back to the soil And watch the rain help Good morning. Good morning. That was, I don't know, was it better than Cheerios? Oh, way gooder than Cheerios. <laughs> um, I think Cheerios is now my late evening snack of choice. I'm never going to let you live that down. You know that, right? That's all right. The fine folks won't either. I'm not saying it's not the last time I'll ever buy them either. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. That's all good. No, it's. You know, I could go on for hours of all the reasons and everything of why I love my wife and having her home. But just the reiteration of, you know, one of her many, 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 many talents um, being able to cook, y'all. And yeah, it's I already honestly, guys, I feel better with her. You know, I made some meals and stuff like that while she was gone, but not like she makes them and I don't know what she does to make it taste gooder than what I make it but yeah I make it with love okay maybe that's when I cook I'm like why am I cooking no I like cooking but yeah you used I'm just to cook more. normally banished from the kitchen so it's tiny house <laughs> um but no, yesterday was great. We wanted to come on today, guys, and just kind of give you the update. Um, we we talked about doing a live as we worked, but... The cicadas are really, yeah, really loud. It, it's going to make filming for the next month, month and a half, very interesting. Yeah. Um, outdoors. And, I, I mean, a super cool phenomenon, but, you know, as people who live there... Yeah. Living your life through YouTube and a camera, trying to talk to it outdoors. Yeah. Not a great situation. So, um, we're going to divide and conquer a little bit today. 
uh, we went yesterday to renew our plates and stuff on the truck and it was uh, employee appreciation day. Yeah, they were shut down. I was like, of all the days yeah. that I'm like, hey, I'm going to run in, renew it today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were shut down. So I've got to go take care of that this morning. Um, I'm going to do some computer stuff. Yeah. Uh, get this out to you guys. I have uh, some other things. I need to order shirts for um, the Blue Mountain meetup. Uh, got to put an Amazon order in. Ooh, which I need you to order me that garden thing. For my uh, irrigation system that we looked at, looked for. Oh, yeah. How quickly he forgets. I was like, you said garden thing. There's a garden and there's lots and lots of things. Yeah, so. we worked outside last night. Uh, it was completely dark and I was still mixing dirt. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I got to go out and finish doing that today. Uh, I'm going to plant. I don't know where they went. Oh, they're over there. Uh, I My red kidney beans. I've had them snipped and soaking in water. And I want to make, and even if these fail, I don't care. But I think I'm still, even if I have to purchase the, the raw beans at, you know, a buck a bag, I'm still going to um, make our own chili beans and can them this year. I think that would be a definite worthwhile because we love our chili in the winter. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah, not something that we eat. You know, chili's not a typical summer dish. Uh, Maybe like once a summer we'll get a hankering for it. And... Yeah, not very often. I mean, mm -hmm. it's that's definitely one of those cooler weather dinners. Kind of like potato soup or rivels. Yeah. Mm. Um. So yeah, we we did we I did so we had our words are hard new lips guys. Um, we had our live last night and we talked about on there um, while she was working doing garden stuff, I did get the car fixed. Mm -hmm. It was just a seized up caliper. Um, so we got really lucky there um, just because that's not another large expense that yeah. we were looking to incur. Um, I mean, we've went on the fence as to what whether we really need to keep the car or not, only for the fact that we always drive the truck everywhere. But it's convenient to have the car for a trip that we know we're not going to haul something heavy um, because it's a little four-cylinder car that... But it is an SUV, and I got to tell you, yeah. out of all my vehicles, this has been my favorite vehicle. It's the GMC Terrain, and I I just absolutely love it. I've had yeah. it forever. It's paid off. And it's like, a great... Why not keep it? It's a great car. I was a little concerned on our first few trips, like those first couple years we came down to Arkansas driving around, was... Could that little four cylinder pushing that much body of an SUV really handle it? Because there was times even in Michigan on some of the hills, it seemed that it didn't have the power. But I tell you what, it handles great around here. Mm. Um, it, it's just a lot of times we end up needing the truck. And my favorite part about it is I can stuff a lot of thrifted stuff yeah. in the back. <laughs> Um, Actually, I think there still is some thrifted stuff in the back. But a lot of you that have been following us for a while know that Jake's been driving the car. Mm -hmm. um, we brought his car down, just kind of a backstory on it. We did bring his car down when he moved with us, but it was already broken. It's got some internal engine damage. and He just needs to sell it. Yeah, it's one of those that needs to go away because it's a very common issue with his car um, for... The engine to jump time and then cause a whole bunch of other internal issues and i said i'm not tearing an engine apart without a shop just not gonna happen and and knowing there's a possibility it could need a lot of engine work well now jake bought a little s10 truck of course it needed work and we got to finish putting it back together and i gave him the project list of things that he can work on without me around um jake loves to learn um, and he loves the mechanical. He just and Jason's doesn't, a great teacher. He doesn't have the the hands-on experience. He does great. I mean, honestly, most of the time it's just me standing there and be like, hey, do this or do that or, you know, and he does it. Yeah, because um, Jake never had that till Jason. And so, there's, yeah. there's a few times that it's like he'll try to do something and he's afraid of breaking it. I mean, he's a big, he's a big fella. And there's a lot of times that he fulfills the whole bull in a china shop. Um, 
So it was like, hey, there's certain things that need a little bit of finesse. And but I get it. I mean, even tearing it apart, I broke a piece, which I need to. I forgot when I was at the parts store yesterday to see if I can get that from them. I don't even know what it's called. I love but. how he's sitting here talking about finesse. This man doesn't know anything finesse and soft. He goes full bore. <laughs> and well, yeah. But I've done most of that stuff before, so it's one of those that I know what I can be aggressive and what not to be aggressive on. Like the light switch in the bathroom. Light switch covers are made of glass, <laughs> evidently. Evidently. <laughs> We're not talking about that right now. Come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we we want to we want to get Jake's truck up and running because we do want the availability of the car uh, again. And you know, it, it is nice having it, but it's also one of those that all right, we want it for ours. You know, and we agreed with Jake to let him drive it, but you get a little too comfortable and be like, nah. Mm -mm. We want it to be able to take our random. Yeah, because a lot of times when we're just running to town and stuff, um, even before Jake was driving it, and even now if Jake's home, we still take the truck. And so, yeah, it would be nice to, um, you know, to have that second vehicle that's not that big old truck. And yeah, and, and, and obviously the truck, like we fixed, you know, a lot of the issues that it's been having, obviously. Um, it's a brand new truck almost. And, but I'd rather have it as the heavy haul stuff you know things that we need a truck for he says that but he loves driving that I, I do don't get me wrong like being in the truck is much more comfortable to me than the car when we thought about trading the um terrain in on like an f-150 uh just to be a daily driver get a little bit more yeah. uh, gas mileage than the regular truck but still be able to haul things <laughs> when we're out and about yeah. so we're, we're not sure but at least it's done <laughs> um, it'll last for a little bit while longer and i think the ter the terrain i think honestly guys the smartest part for us and here's the fun you're we're having this discussion live with you through this video because um, that's what we do that's just how it works for us in our brains but yeah it it makes more sense to just keep that car until it's not keepable anymore you know run it till it's done it's paid for it's in really good shape it, it's getting high it really mileage nice. but as long as you know um but it'll, I, i've always kept my vehicles yeah. for a long it time. needs cleaned out because we've also been using it as a a rolling storage unit from other thrift finds and we're like well we don't have anywhere else to keep it and nobody rides in the back seat was, of the car i was literally just thinking the other day i think it might have been on one of my flights back that we just need to take a day and sort through all the storage unit. Because I know there's tons of finds in there that I know I've gotten and I've no idea. You're bought. cute. You said a day. Oh, that's... Maybe that's, a day per storage unit. Oh, oh that's cute. Um, yeah, and we've discussed too about maybe building a small shop, garage, storage... I mean, I say small, but we're probably looking at like 24, 24 by 24, probably. Yeah. Um, Just a simple garage. But with the with the storms coming through, and I, I think we had talked about this a little bit before. I don't remember. But mm -hmm. with all these storms that have been rolling through, one of the Harbor Freight sheds is not long for this world. And the canvas got stretched, and it starts pooling water. Poles got bent. Like good for a temporary it's not on a level surface so that doesn't help it at all and they're just ugly i'm yeah. tired of the ridge looking messy and looking like yeah i just i really want everything in one place and i think it'll facilitate our building as well because if any of y'all been around long enough and know my husband he'll get a little ocd about certain things and when he can't find a part or a piece it's not like he can be like, oh, well, I'll just move on. No. He'll look for it for hours and hours. I spent a half hour, 45 minutes yesterday looking for a socket because, I mean, it's a special oil filter socket to get the filter off um, on her car. And I knew I had it. She knew I had it because I bought it for her car. And I couldn't. I spent 
probably a half hour if not more i found it don't get me wrong like but it's one of those that i could have gotten more done and i know that in but like i when we're doing a project i purposely don't ask for a tool or i'll just might go look for it if i can't find it every now and again if it's really important i'll ask him because oh if we're doing a project and i ask him for something and he can't readily find it it the whole day shot it's shot because even if he does come back to work every two seconds he's running off thinking he might know where it's at and this goes on and on and it's just it's like a merry-go-round yeah and so we do so need the shop yeah and it's or a garage at this right point. i mean it, it'll basically just be a i guess that's the equivalent of like a two car one and a half car garage i don't know what their standards are but yeah it, it, a nice storage building doesn't have to be perfect just something that can keep our things a lot more secure out of the weather Mm. and organized right shelved and stacked and, and, and that'll be the thing is i'm not even going to worry about insulating it mm -hmm. or anything like that you know it's, it's literally an outbuilding yeah it's a glorified shed it's probably not even going to have a concrete floor for a while um just put something we can build some shelves onto the walls we can put some we've got some like plastic storage shelving that we've been using mm -hmm. in the sheds that we can transfer over something a little more like permanent and secure and we think we have a spot for it yeah and it's just we're trying to you know i know a lot of y'all are like man when are you gonna get the studio done when are you gonna and we would love nothing more to do that but uh, we've talked about it before is like priority projects end up overriding our wanted projects yeah and looking at things right now and the amount of loss that we've incurred you from know, the Harbor Freight Sheds. From stuff being in them sheds and, you know, not being weather tight. I mean, for the most part, they're good. They really are. And I think for a temporary situation. And, and they've served a great purpose. But and I'm people ready for use them, them for gone. multiple years at a time. But that's not us. I mean, we, we've just got too much. And so, yeah, I, I have a feeling that that project is going to start overriding. I don't know. I. Part of me says, hey, just go ahead and finish the studio, then build the shed, because some of the stuff that we have, but then not really. Like, a lot of the, the studio helps us in the house. It doesn't necessarily help us for storage of other things, yeah. the tools and whatnot, because I don't want to put stuff like that in the studio. And then after turning around and pull it out, again, I'd much rather just do this little, sh in that shed, can work later on too that's yeah, the great part i think part. with the with the studio though and here we are we're we're having a normal conversation <sighs> in the morning you guys i think with the studio though that's going to go up fairly quick also and it will eliminate like we can take the one trailer back to keith's because all the merch will be in there it'll take care of all the kitchen stuff or all the youtube stuff in the kitchen so there's that and then It'll also free up the small trailer of items as well. So I, I think that there, I think it's a, it's catch 22. It, it is. I mean, either one I think is equally justifiable as to what we build. Um, I, I don't know. We're torn guys. And, and that's the thing is or maybe every, you are right. Maybe you are. Everything's right. an option, but I, I truly think, I don't know, you guys give us give us your thoughts in the comments. Let us know. This is how we literally do this every morning. We have the studio started. You guys have seen that. It's at the subfloor framed out. We need, you know, we need to put the subflooring down, build the walls, do the roof, but that needs to be quick. And we know we can get that done quick once we have enough of the lumber milled. milled and we will have to buy metal for the roof. But then everything else is going to be um, you know, milled so that's just a matter of some time but i think with the way the sheds are and even trying to do that build if we had that garage up then things are already yeah we can get like she said we could empty out we could even empty out the merch trailer and put stuff in there um yeah. we could empty out the so two what would that entail that'd be like we need four by four posts for the 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 structure and then one by for the well side. even if we we don't even necessarily need uh, i guess the four by fours would be good if we're gonna bury them in the ground we are 
Okay. Because so... my thought my thought was to do it very similar to a pole structure, because even though we're we can't afford to do the concrete now, when we have the gravel and then you have that bottom two by six perimeter of the bottom even over the gravel once it's compacted, then we can come back at a later time. And like when I built my barn up north, it's basically just gonna be like a small pole structure. And then um, since we're gonna board and batten that, right? Are we gonna board and batten it? Sure. I don't know yet. <laughs> then we just run the the two by fours in, in between, between the, the posts. posts. As purlins and... And then we can, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that to me seems, I mean, and I do wanna try my hand at building our own rafters with regular gussets or you know wood gussets i'm not even gonna go as far as like doing the metal plates or whatever because long before those were invented people built with gussets and they made them themselves and so i'm i'm all about trying that and i think that our little handy dandy book that we have well and we did it with jake's cabin is yeah. you know made our own rafters well we didn't make them because we, we did buy we did all those the in place i'd like to build the rafter on the ground with the gussets and everything and then lift them up in place because yeah. i think that's a great trial to when we go to build the big shop to know whether or not we can effectively build our own rafters um i've been looking at them even you know store-bought ones do we just buy one and then... I don't think we need to even buy one. I mean, there's so many of the older designs where you put a ridge beam in, you have your rafters cut at an angle to connect to there, and then you put a tie, a tie board. Right, like when we did Mama V's. Right. So you want to do it that way and not rafters with gussets. Well, they're still rafters. They're not trusses. You're thinking of building trusses. our own trusses. Yeah, that, that. I don't think we need to go as far as building our own trusses. I think we just do it a rafter style, have the ridge beam in, which we can still, we could do it where, look, what you're talking about is build them without the ridge beam because it's not going to be a huge structure. We would just end up connecting, like, say, the two two by sixes together mm -hmm. and then put gussets your gussets in. or a tie board across. Well, I was just and thinking, since it's could, just the two of us, though... We could cut the notching, the bird mouth notches, for them to sit on top of the wall, right? Or the, the header, because we're going to do posts, so you got a header beam, like... I, I think we could still... Ways. Yeah. Because we will, we will get more benefit, say, if we have a loft or a loft availability, even if it's kind of an attic... To where if there's things that we know we don't need right away, we can do a little... Storage piece. Yeah, even if it's you can only crawl in there, but you still get the storage area available for stuff that, hey, I know I don't need this for a year or two so or whatever. So that's going to take you clearing the site. Yeah. We'll Leveling have to clear it. Site. We've got to level it. And, and then, then we can dig holes. Yeah. I mean, because I, th I think that it would go up. You're probably right. It would go up quicker than the YouTube studio and it would organize everything. I could see my garden from the kitchen sink. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> I'm game. Yeah. I'm in. Um, so that's our new prod. Well, we, I, we, we gotta do know. my farm stand first. Yeah. But that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and keep this short. I've got some uh, work to do in the Matrix. He's gonna go get our truck legal and then I got some more gardening to do and I have a lot to do because, yeah. yeah. But as you guys seen, we are getting zucchinis. I've got five huge ones right here right now. Uh, we are loving having zucchini again. Well, so you, you, there was what, six? Because you cut one up and mm -hmm. cooked it yesterday, yesterday and this morning. So, yeah. um, but yeah, I think that's it, guys. We've got to get going and get our work done for today so that we can at least feel good about progress. Um, but it is, it's Friday, y'all, so enjoy oh, your day. Get prepped for those of you, you know, that have to work today. Hopefully it's a good day. If not, hey, the weekend's coming. You get to relax. Um, and we appreciate every one of you, your support, yeah. uh, your comments, your thoughts and prayers about Dad. Um, yeah, and he's doing great, by the way. Everything that we're doing around here. Yeah, let us know. Let us know in the comments, like, 
what y'all think we should do because this is literally how we sit and talk yeah all the this, time this like, is a normal and we end up yeah. talking ourselves into circles most of the time because <laughs> it's all an option guys it really is and you know but what goes first chicken egg cart whore, like what do you do um and a lot of times it's just one of those that all right unanimous was the decision we're going with this or whatever a what so, decision I, I couldn't say it the first time you want me to try to say it second time unanimous an enemy an enemy i don't know all right guys thanks for coming along we'll see you on the next Bye. one